Hello and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 22 over on Court Farms. Right guys, as you can see, we are over in June. I haven't quite adjusted the time yet because I've just gone into June. I just basically made sure there were some jobs to do in June. And yeah, we're going to just quickly adjust the time up in a second. I'm having to adjust that because there we go. That'll do. Perfect. So, right, our daily job today, guys, we are going to go and do a mowing field arm. Oh, a bailing contract field 107 it's just down the road from us or over the road depending on which way you look at it sorry a bit of indigestion this morning guys so i do apologize for that um we are going to use the ford as much as we can today really um basically because we need to be you know we want to give it a good run out i am a little bit annoyed with myself guys i rushed yes i i rushed in the last episode and we bought this ford we got it upgraded we spent a bit of money and today in the shop there is some new items now we would have liked something like this but it wasn't an option but look what came up in the shop today it would be the i suppose the thing is it would have been 62 grand with the engine upgrade so I, I don't know. It would have been nice to have had something newer. But, yeah, you know what I mean? It's like, mm, that's a lot newer than the equipment we've got now. Um, but, you know, 60 grand, it's a lot of money. But I, I don't know. I think I'm, I think I'm still happy I got this thing. Um, but, yeah, it's just like one of them things where it's like, mm, oh, it would have been nice to have had that and everything else right i did notice when i was just looking at contracts and stuff there is a little gate here and we can go through this little gate i've never I've, I've got to be honest i've never really noticed that gate often um and there you go we are now in the field to do this contract so this is going to be a silage contract guys and it is going to earn us quite a bit of money from this size contract we know this field earns as well i feel like lately we've earned a lot of money from just contracts in general but that, that's what it's all about now i like like i said in the previous episode i've lowered the, the days back down to one and we're kind of just going to play with the time we're going to try and leave it on like 10 to 15 ish but if we do start running out of time in the winter months we might just lower it down a little bit just just to try and get something done um, but yeah there's, there's not really that much to do in the winter months to be honest now, Field 106 is also a contract that can be done. And I'm umming and narrowing about possibly doing Field 106 while while we're in 107, basically. It, it, it just makes sense to do these two contracts together. But obviously, I don't think we're really going to get that done today. So that might be something we can maybe, maybe do in the next month. I don't, uh, this is the thing with having three tractors. Cosplay can help us earn so much money right now today i just you know i'm not personally irl had a, a very good week i just want to basically just come on and i just want to do a bit of fun i want to just drive around in a tractor just like relax de stress a little bit and yeah basically just mow some grass windrow some grass and then build some grass and then sell some grass that is basically well silage but it's still grass it's grass until it's made into silage so yeah we'll sell the silage and then we'll just kind of crack on really with that and this ford is looking lovely guys it is looking lovely now we're looking here it's got a nice little nice little dashboard don't have access to this land yes i always forget about that on this field around and do that again it's gonna be a bit bumpy for now because we're on the edge we're trying to we're trying to get as much grass as we can try and make any any extra bales that's possible not always possible to get the extra grass but we are gonna try one extra bale could be worth a, quite a few thousand pounds really so probably worth a few hundred but yeah you, you get the idea you get the idea as you can see we are already flying through this uh, this contract so we've got to 
We basically got to mow the grass today. We've got to windrow it next. Uh, we've got a pretty good windrower, which is really, really good. And it's just a case of bailing it and selling it, really. So this is kind of what we'll do in this episode. If I say we'll, we'll lower and adjust the time if we need to. It's just for now we just won't. Um, I guess off. We'll just do what we can really in in this episode. But we will should or should hopefully get this contract completed. I'd like to say we are. If we don't, there's something wrong. But as you can see, it is just going ever so nicely. Now this tractor is not the quickest thing in the world, 19 miles per hour. Um, I do believe the 8200 was a lot, lot faster. It, I, I believe the 8200 was our fastest tractor, so we have lost a lot of speed in driving around the map. But I just, the power requirements for the for the little amount we spent was worth it. But we do need to buy a front loader at some point. We bought the bracket, so we do need to try and get our hands on a front loader very, very soon. Looking brilliant. Yeah, it is running. I, I did do something to this tractor off recording. I uh, just kind of wanted to say that. Um, I basically fixed it. I, I gave it a repair. Once I got it back to the farm, I just pulled it into the workshop and I did repair it. It cost me about £1,200, I think it was, to, re to repair, I think it was something daft like that and it wasn't i know it wasn't really a lot of money to work for the pair. i can't remember the exact figure without um without watching the video but yeah oh no it won't be a video but i could kind of tell from the bank balance how much i don't it didn't cost a lot it might not have even been told you know, it might have been a hell of a lot less but if you look in our bank balance guys we have 102,000 437 pound that is a fantastic amount of money to have absolutely fantastic and yeah basically we should be uh, we should be good for the harvest very soon um, income wise from the harvester we won't make loads the harvester would take a few years to pay for itself but that's why the you know these kind of the kind of easy money of this to be silent for the It is absolutely it's this this thing is just driving so nicely. So so nicely. It is fantastic how well this thing is driving. Absolutely love this thing. It just needs a little bit of extra speed really, just for this map. I'm not saying it needs to like have a stupid ridiculous speed, like just because of how big this map is or and how far places are. It would be nice if this had like maybe a 26 mile an hour speed. I might adjust that just for personal use, just on this map. But then again I, I, I don't really want to adjust it, you know. I spent some time fixing these up with the guy from uh, Kingsmont. Yeah, just overall, just, yeah, I, I really like it. I really, really like it. It's absolutely fantastic. Just missed a little bit there. I'm just trying to get myself a little screenshot. But yeah, it's going to be, I think I'd like to say it's going to be a very good income day doing this contract. Um... I think the contractor, I think he said it was worth about £15,000, which in itself is fantastic. We'll have all the extra silage to sell. Now, we do have some silage on the farm to sell. Um, it's about six or seven bales. Now, I originally was keeping it for making some TMR up. That, that was originally what I was going to keep it for. Now, the thing is with this TMR is... Uh, 
we have the TMR mixer, but we don't quite have the cow field yet. Now, I know it's been a long time in coming getting cows, but with harvest season being like a month or so away, that the harvester has to come first this year. Hopefully, with this um, with this contract, it might help towards the cow field as well. Um, ideally, that would be absolutely fantastic. Yeah, um, hopefully we should be able to, to get that, or at least make a good chunk towards the cow field. The, originally I wanted to buy that little bit of land, if you remember I made the new little bit of farmland and I called it 208, it's like about £18,000, now originally I want to buy that and I want to put some kind of cow shed on there, but one where I can get milk, one where I can get some slurry and one where I can get some manure. Because as it stands, the pastures don't give me those. Well, it doesn't give me the manure and the slurry. And I would like to try and use free manure on our farm. Try and cut costs down on our farm. Like, if we're doing a contract, it's different, getting paid for it. But, you, know, you get the idea, it would just be nice to uh, use some free fertiliser, shall we say, on our land. Now, that is still, again, a case of what I want to do. Because I want to put milk cows in a barn, and then when we buy the open pasture, that's where our meat cows can go. The beef, the beef stock. I was calling them meat cows, but it's the same, same difference. So yeah, that's kind of what I want to get done really today. Um, we're getting a good chunk through this episode. I am going to go into a bit of a time lapse, guys. Tomorrow. I'll probably like time lapse the. Um, Windrowing. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of windrowing. I know it needs to be done. It's just you're just kind of going over what you've already done. Do you know what I mean? So we'll probably just time lapse that. Maybe time lapse a little bit of the bay. I, we'll, we'll figure some out. I've actually enjoyed over the last couple of episodes making, or you know, the last couple of weeks making some slightly longer videos. I've really, really enjoyed that. Today, for me, recording, guys, is the 1st of November. I don't know who has renewed over on Patreon, but I am just going to give a little shout-out to everybody who has re-hit the, uh, the the next month, basically, on Patreon. If you have continued to be a support, I do massively appreciate it. Um, that's done later on in today, so... But you guys will get this tomorrow on the 2nd. So I don't want you thinking I haven't thanked you for it. It's just time of day I'm recording it's uh, still a bit early yet so for them to have done their done their things to process and things like that but anybody who has just resubscribed for another month over on Patreon I do massively appreciate it I do want to ask a question though I'm not trying to be greedy or out it's a genuine question my Patreon support starts from three pound a month and I was just wondering if anybody who watches the video thinks that's a little bit expensive. Now, obviously, in a lot of countries around the world, there is a cost of living crisis, you know, Britain being one of them. So I understand that money can be tight, things like that. I just want to get some feedback, really, on it. Would you guys like to see, like, a £2 bid? I do have a limit to what you can charge, you know, on it, you know, set a price by. And I was just wondering if people thought £3 was a little bit much. By all means, guys, you don't you don't have to answer. If you would like to join the Discord and send me the answer via a ticket, if you feel like you don't want to make it public, I'm just looking for feedback, guys. If you think three pound as our cheapest one is too expensive, and that's if maybe why you don't do it. If you don't do it, I'm, I'm like I said, just looking for some feedback. That's all I'm looking for. Just some feedback. Is all. I'm not saying anyone needs to do it. I never ask people to do it. The option is there. I do massively appreciate everybody who does do it. But obviously, you know, it's just price wise, it's just I'm just looking for some feedback. That is all. Right, we are nearly done on this field, guys. We are nearly, 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 nearly done. I could. I'm just thinking if I should. I was about to say, I'm wondering if I could put the windrowing on a worker. I could do the first headland and then put the windrow on a worker and we could just bail. We wouldn't technically have to time lapse anything, but it would make the job go quicker. But then again, like I said, this is the only job we're doing in June, guys. This is the only job 
we're going to do in June. We're not going to do any more, I don't think, in June. I would have liked to have done one or six in June, but our fields need doing as well. Um, that's another reason why I want to sell the seven bales on our farm that you know we've got in the shed because our fields will need putting up grass again and yeah just be nice to uh, just look at getting them done i've noticed as well the forage contracts are not coming up again i don't know if that mod has just bugged out on this map i have started a new cop farm save just to test it and it, it worked perfectly spawn the equipment in and everything but it had the same mods as what this one does so I, I know there's not like a mod conflict with another mod it was just weird it didn't really want to work on this save oh, missed a little bit there not the end of the world but we should got maybe maybe three more passes I think roughly three more passes to do Well, it'll be three more passes if I don't get distracted and start wandering off in a different <laughs> direction. That is fantastic. This is this has been so nice. Yeah, I had a very stressful day yesterday. Um, IRL. It was. I was on the go for about 14, 13, 14 hours yesterday. Just life kind of thing and it was really really stressful it was a really long day it took me like nine and a half hours before i could eat anything it was just oh just a very stressful day a very long day and today it is just so nice this morning while everyone is still in bed just to just to drive up and down a field and relax basically it's just so so nice to do it's so nice to just relax and before the stressful day starts once again, basically. And I got a pretty good night's sleep last night. Even though the wife snored, I was that exhausted. It just, it just didn't affect me. It literally just didn't affect me. So <laughs> I actually got a really good night's sleep last night. I do still feel tired though. But I think I've had a that good a night's sleep. I still woke up tired. It's, it's crazy. I don't sleep on a night because the wife's sleep apnea still waiting for a machine and like it's so I, I get very little sleep and I'm tired and I've had a fantastic night sleep I was looking at the mass sleep stats for the night and it was like wow I haven't slept that long in years and uh, yeah it's just I still woke up and I still feel like I can go back to sleep but I know I'm like wide awake I'm like full of energy but it's just like I was, you know, I feel like I could still go back to sleep. It's crazy. But I had to get up this morning. I told me I had to go out with a dog. I took the bins out. And, oh, yeah. Another day has started. Right, so I said three more. I said three more, didn't I? And it looks like we're going to need three and a tiny bit. So that wasn't too bad, that, guys. It wasn't too bad at all. Now we will use the Renault for selling the bills. That's just going to happen. Um, it's just going to be easy to do that. There we go. That is pretty much us done. So the mowing is done by 8 a.m. Now we did technically start the day on about 5 a.m. So a few hours to come in this field, cut the grass. It's pretty good. I like that. got to do the windrowing but the windrowing is not too bad really because the windrowing is well the wind rower is wider so we can't really argue with that the windrowing is lovely i'm gonna try and get a little bit more of that and that did actually work brilliant i managed to just get a little bit more it wasn't loads i didn't want to go too far into that but this is the last bit of the grass that is fantastic i know i keep saying that guys it's just I'm having such a mellow morning, it, it is just brilliant, it's cool. There we go. Might need to just do a little bit more again. I am, I'm going to have to do another... Wow. 
I really did misjudge that at like three and a bit then, didn't I? Well, I said originally three. As you can see, that the next little bit is the final bit. We, we could really do with a wider mower. We do quite a lot of grass, actually. We do with a wider mower. But again, we will wait for something to come up in the shop. I'm not the biggest fan of using um, the second hand shop all the time. But this tractor has a few more hours than our other one, but it's still got the same amount of work hours as our for, uh, as our Renault. And I've got no issue with it really. And there we go. Time to go and get the uh, the windrower. Lovely. This thing drives so nice. Fantastic. It genuinely is awesome to drive it's so smooth it's nice on the gearbox like i say the 19 mile an hour is probably the biggest issue i've got with it and i've missed my turn <laughs> i've missed my turn no way there. again we're going to use the ford we're going to continue to use it i just want to give it a good run because we've just got it it's like been a kid at Christmas. I've got a, new, I've got a new toy to play with. That's how I see it right now. I've got a new toy to play with and I want to use it. So the Renault can do the, uh, the running around of selling of the bales just because it's going to be quicker to go to the sell point. Lovely. So, do that, do that, do that. I have thought about turning manual attach off. Sometimes I forget it's there and sometimes it just gives me a bit of grief. Like when I try to connect to it, it, it wouldn't do it, so I had to just slightly move the, the mower. There she be, she's in the corner. Right, something I need to do with this tractor, I need to add more brake to it. The brakes on it are shocking. See what I mean? The brakes are absolutely shocking. Absolutely shocking. I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to do that because just the brakes. So I need to add a little bit extra brake intensity on this thing. Right, it's going to be easier to move the freaking tractor, clearly. I'm not messing around today, guys. I need to... Can we please just... There we go. Ooh! That has made this a little bit front-end hip... Uh, front-end blight. That's not good. Ooh, the steering's a little bit skew with with this one. Oh, I wouldn't mind, but on the 8200 it was fine. I might need to get a bigger weight for the front. There we go. Well, we're in the field anyway. And away we go. We want to get it all. In fairness, we don't technically need to do the wind rowing on this. Uh, with our baler. Because of the way the guy who made the baler basically set it up. It's got a very wide pickle. Which I'm not really impressed about. I don't really like that about it. I must admit, I would like to change our baler. I really would. Now, I know getting the quick bailer was good. It gives us, you know, it, it's a quick bailer. It does what it says on the tin. But I'm not the biggest fan of it. And I would like to get something a little bit different to, instead. I don't, like I say, I don't like the pickup on it. But for some reason, it's got a pickup wider than this... This windrower. And this windrower is a wide windrower, let's be honest.
But, you know, at the end of the day, we'll do, we'll do what we can. Very bumpy. Just gonna say that it's very bumpy. This windrow is very bumpy. It's like it's almost too low. I think it is. I actually think that's too low. I think it's just banging off the ground, lifting them back wheels up. It's giving us a few little bugs. You know, not bugs, but a few little issues. Them back wheels are definitely bouncing off that floor. But I'm not bothered. Like I say, we're just trying a different tractor. You can't say I haven't got a different tractor now. Here. I do really want to put this on a worker. I, I don't enjoy massive amounts of windrowing. Just because it's a little bit of a, a tedious job. Now I know it needs doing, got no issue with that. It's just it's not like my most it's not like my favourite job, you know what I mean? I would much prefer to cut the grass than windrow it. nice to get one of them balers where you, it windrows at the same time you know where it actually has like a little windrow on the front you do two jobs at the same time that would be fantastic maybe something to look at at some point who knows that is the headland done so now it's just a case of getting the rest of the field and then we'll go and get bailed I think what I'm going to do, guys, I am just going to put this into a little bit of a time lapse because we've got to bail yet, and then we've got to sell the bales, and I think that's going to take quite a while. So I'm going to get the radio turned on, and we're just going to uh, get this job done. <laughs>
Well, there we go. A little bit longer than I planned to do that. The bumping, guys, on the back wheels is... To be honest with you, it's made me just feel a bit, whoa, you know what I mean? <laughs> it, it's very bumpy on those back wheels when that, uh, when it's simple. But this is why I wanted to do it with this machine today, uh, with this tractor. Because I didn't know how this tractor would be. And this tractor is fantastic, but it's not a windrowing tractor. Just going to put that out there right now. It's not a windrowing tractor. So now the issue we're going to have is we... That, yeah, that time lapse is going to be longer than I would normally like to do. I didn't want to leave it with like one and a bit rows left to do. So we've got a lot of windrowing to do. Uh, we've got a lot of bailing to do now. And then we need to get everything sorted. We are most likely at some point going to have to uh, slow the time down. I do think we're going to lose. Not necessarily daylight, but we just, we're just using a lot of time right now to do this. Um, the baler is around this corner, which is fantastic. Yeah, we are we are running out of uh, day in my eyes. Now, I know technically it's only one o'clock, but it's how long it's taken us in real life time to get to one o'clock. It is very, very, yeah. This would kind of like be normally the length of the episode and it's like we've still got to bail and we've still got to sell it it's absolutely crazy how how much we've still got left to do but yeah absolutely insane there we go down look for that oh, that looks absolutely fantastic we shouldn't really have any issue with this should be able to just oh we might have issues getting around this corner i have parked that leyland in a very awkward spot either that or i parked the trailer in a very awkward spot there we go. good job there's no traffic on this map now isn't there there we go so you can see what we've got to do we've got we've got to go around now and just do everything we've just done twice before so it's gonna take a little while to do um i might look at i know it's nine mile an hour and it's a quick bill i might just look at increasing because i can do that i might just increase the size have i got yeah alt and zero now i'm not saying we'll do 19 mile an hour i'm not trying to like speed things up it's just irl is about to get in the way um of how long it's taken us to do this so i'm just gonna we're just gonna up it to like 12 mile okay it's on 12 but it'll just do interesting so if we up it to if we can maybe go to about 11 and we'll get the uh cruise control on in a second there we go so if we get cruise control on 11 mile an hour that gives us a couple of mile an hour more it's more than enough for this baler we should have no issues with the baler still wrapping. There we go. That's better. Just so we can kind of get through it a little bit. But we've got a lot of work left to do. An awful lot of work. You know, we've got to basically bail all this. And then we need to uh, go and pick them up and sell. So we'll, we'll get it done. It's going to be a bit of a longer episode again. But quite nice. This might be one of the longest episodes I'm probably going to ever do. And there we go, that's in there, that's filling up nicely. We're not missing any bits. Just managing to drop the bales beforehand. But yeah, really liking that. 12 mile an hour with the cruise control on is definitely a lot better speed to just continue with this. We're going to have to go around the field a lot again and obviously i just want to i don't want to get to the end of the episode quickly but like i said life is about to jump, jump in the way it's just taking a little bit longer to do this field than i anticipated i did anticipate it to be done about five or ten minutes ago and that included the selling so i i'm just a little bit behind schedule personally so 
I know people don't like it when I say things like that on videos, but like I say, I've got a lot going on in my life. If you've watched the last episode, you'll understand what's going on. But you'll have an idea what's going on. So yeah, it's um, I'm getting it's getting a bit hectic. But I thought, well, I'm going to do this video this morning because I thought, well, there is literally nobody up in the house at the time when I started. That is completely different now. It's uh, yeah, I've been recording for quite a while now. Yeah, we're, we're, we're doing it. We're getting it done. We're flying around here. This is where a work would have been nice, actually. I wonder if we could get a worker on this. Um, I've just got... I just want to see if I can do something just to help us... Help us out a little bit now. Um... Our windrower is six meters. I thought it was bigger than six meters. Okay, that's that's a little bit more than I thought. But if I was to do this, and I was to do no course, yeah, that that's got an eight meter pickup. If I set that to six meters. We did three headlands. Headlands. If we do that there. What? What? Oh. What? It's pick. Right, I can't do that. I can't do it. It's picking up the next. It's picking up field 106. Oh. Why is it picking up 106 on the... Or is it because I've cut the grass and it now thinks it's one bloody field? I can soon make it back into its own. I just... Yeah, I might have just... Yeah, he's trying to do 106 at the same time. Now, if I had done 106 and cut 106, I would have been laughing because I could have just done all of it at once. But it's... Um, oh, hang on. I'm going too fast there. Give me one second. There we go. 11 mile an hour. So, no, I'm not going to be able to get a worker on to help me with this. Which is an absolute all ache shame. Because I, what, I, what I thought was, if we go and get a worker just doing this, we could then go around with the trailer, we could start to sell things. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to put this back into another time. That's because I need to crack on and uh, get this build. And then I'll, I'll see what we can get done in the next couple of minutes.
just come out of the time that's because I I couldn't remember <laughs> what it was when I started it time wise so it could be a short one it could be a long I, uh, yeah I, I was uh, interrupted with people um, during that time lapse which was another reason why I did the time lapse so as you can see we've got one two three basically four and what's left of this row to go so four and a half rows to go and then it's basically just a case of selling it guys and we've got a lot to sell now i was originally going to sell our silage that we have on our farm and i've decided i'm not going to sell that today i'm going to kind of keep our silage ready for like the end of the year we might need it by the end of the year i'll have more silage we will be cutting our grass in the next episode um, our fields will need to be uh, will need to be cut and baled, so that's what we'll do in the next episode. I am going to make more silage because I believe come January I'm going to need the income. So I'm going to keep all our bales for the rest of this year and sell them in January. Any contract though, we sell all the contract bales when we do the contract. We're not keeping contract bales at the moment. We need to make sure we have enough money in the bank to buy the harvester. Because I do believe harvest season is starting very, very soon. So I do want to uh, do that. We also need to buy a trailer. We need a grain trailer. Um, so that means more added expense. Now, we can always maybe possibly buy a cheaper, bail uh, a cheaper trailer. It's not the end of the world for... You know, we don't have to buy an expensive one. We can just buy a cheap trailer. As long as it holds at least 10, 12,000, really. Somewhere in between there, that's what we need. Because then we can just, we can get workers with harvesting. And so I do want to harvest. I am going to point out, I do want to do some harvesting with the harvester. But if we have work on our farm to do, like, for example, the grass cutting, we can always get a worker to start it. That's how I'm going to look at it. We can get a worker to sign. We can always then finish jobs and things like that. But yeah, we will be doing some harvesting. I haven't looked at the calendar for when harvest season starts. It could be July. I, I, I can say head's a bit mashed. So it's like just a case of uh, needing to double check everything. So what I'm going to do in a minute, guys, is I am going to go back into a third town. Because what I want to do is I kind of want to sell a lot of these bales. Oh, no, I do not. No, I do not. Something. We're, we're almost done. My only issue I've got right now is trailer-wise, I can only sell eight bales at once. That is my biggest issue right now. I can only sell eight bales at once. And as you can see from this field, this grass wasn't even fully fertilized. Look how many bales we've got these are big 180 bales as well can you imagine if these would have been like 125 bales so we do need to look at upgrading our bale trailer as soon as possible um, the other one we can get around bales i think holds 8 14 is it 14 round bales i think off the top of my head um, which is obviously almost double what we can carry at the moment with ours but obviously ours was cheap again hoping one comes up in the discount store we can only hope that happens but we don't have to travel far to sell the bales so that's a good thing we don't have to travel far to sell them but yeah um i'm gonna try and get the forage contract working now the forage contract does mean we'd have to possibly rent some forage i want to just see how that mod works we can always maybe do one where we borrow the equipment we don't have to do more where we borrow the equipment we can be like look that was worth doing yes let's buy the equipment and do it so we'll look into that and see how that goes but we will borrow the equipment i know it was kind of against the rules to, to loan stuff but i just want to see how those that contract work, mod works really see if it's a good paying job if it's not worth doing you know what i mean there's no point spending vast amount of money then on a forage harvester so that's kind of what i want to do all right there we go that is all done so all we have to do right now 
is sell these bales. Tell you what, uh, no, we might as well drive. We're going to get the Renault, guys. The Renault's going to be quicker and it's technically got a little bit more power. But we literally don't have to go far to sell these. It's literally up the road. It is still quite a way to drive, but it's still... It's still, you know, probably the closest one. Right, I'm going to just put this on our grass over here, because this is the grass I was talking about that we would be cutting in the next episode. So this would be like one of it, and then obviously our bit of field over there. Where is the Renault? There you are. There you are, little Renault. Come with me. I need you. So let's go and get eight bills at a time. So it's going to be a long process selling eight bills at a time. Can we have a little look in the shop again? We do get new stuff throughout the day. No, we've got nothing new today. Oh, this afternoon. I was just hoping maybe one of the bigger trailers. I might, I might look. I don't want to use like the auto load trailers. You know, the one where it like teleports. I am trying to use like the like these this style one. And there we go. Get out of there. Lovely. Right, let's get on with this. 26 miles per hour. Got plenty of fuel for now in the uh, in the Renault. That's what the Leyland's part there for. I, ref I refueled it between episodes. That's why it's parked in such a silly position. Because I refueled it. Right. We're going to start at this bottom end because we're already here. And away we go. Eight bales needed. Eight bales. take a little while because we're not the quickest but it's good enough for me or I and I'm, I'm counting out loud in my head and I don't know why it's just this is the first eight to do so we are basically delivering that's actually worked out to be pretty good on the on the time as well guys it's now five o'clock in the evening now in winter 10 times is going to be too long or maybe we do it on 10 times but we just have to do smaller jobs because we don't have much daylight i know farmers work in the dark but if i record in the dark you don't really see much and people don't really like that because it's like well, I, I, we don't we don't really see what you're doing, you know, and I understand that. But I, I am trying to keep work to daytimes. Um, obviously, I'm hoping relight's a little bit different this year. Might just give us some slightly longer evenings. As you can see, we're already halfway to delivering the first load. I've got my dad messaging me, so I'm, I'm trying, to, trying to do two things at once. He's, uh, he's on his own at the moment, so... Okay, that's not where I thought we were going. Hang on a minute. This is where I'm going, and I've now... Right. <laughs> Forgive me, guys. It is where I was meant to go. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do an invisible through the hedge. Sorry about having to go through the hedge. It is where I thought we were going, and then I've missed my turn. I've ju I'll do it just this once. My bad. I I, I got completely and utterly uh, confused there where I was going. So we're going into this one here. For some reason, I didn't think it was that turn off as, a, as I approached it. And it was. 
Then that is going to deliver 44% delivered with eight bales. Wow. So it's going to be two and a half trailer loads. So we're going to have 88% on this next load and then half a trailer. Yeah. So one and a half trailer loads will complete this contract. That is not too shabby. Um, that is not too shabby at all. Yeah, we'll, we'll get bills from the top of the field this time just so we can get this contract completely finished. been a very very long episode guys if you enjoyed the very long episode um thank you i do appreciate you enjoying the long episode if you don't i i was trying something new to try and complete one job on 10 times in a day i didn't I genuinely didn't think it would take this long to do that's kind of why this is like a very long episode uh, yeah uh my bad my bad Yeah, we'll be 88% complete just by delivering this one. So we're going to have a lot of bales to sell for us. Financially, we're going to have a lot of bales. That's going to be a good thing. I, I do genuinely think that will give us the money to buy a harvester brand new. I've got a specific one I want to use. It is going to be a Ford branded one. Um, unless something better comes up in like the discount store. Like I was explaining in the last episode... Um, I've got a specific one I want to use. I've already decided on the header I'm going to use. It should help not keep the harvest contract so slow to, to complete. Which is why, like, the Ford mod I want to use is a good one because it, um, it's got a good capacity for the size mod it is. It's not like what I would call exaggerated either. It's just... About a 8,000 litre capacity. Yeah, this is going to be 88% complete. I am so looking forward to the payout on this contract. The contract alone is £15,000. We could make more than 15 grand in silage. But remember, June and July are the worst time to sell silage. So we won't get the best price. I think we might need to invest in a JCB fast track. I think that might be good. 150 brake horsepower, so it's a good replacement for the Renault. But it's got an even better top speed. That's maybe something we need to look at. I would like to try and get more power. That's the only issue. But more power means possibly, you know, lower speed. Flying around this map at the moment, literally flying around it. Get that into there. While that's just doing that, guys, we're just going to have a little look on the calendar. Right, we do have harvesting to do next in the next episode, guys. So as much as we've got grass to do, we can get harvesting. There's quite a bit to can be harvested. Linseed, rye, wheat, barley, canola, and oat. But yeah, we do need the harvester for next month. So this all needs to be done. I'm, I am so glad today I decided to do this field this should give us the money for the harvester we need brand new but we won't be buying the harvester until the next episode i will buy it at the beginning of the episode on a lower time so we don't waste any daytime but we need a harvester a trailer uh, we need a harvester a header and a trailer so 
we've got a lot of money to spend in the next episode so we need to uh, we do need to get this as much money as we can from this if i have to sell the little bit of silage i don't want to sell that silage but if we're a little bit of money short we'll you know i am so praying a harvest that comes up tomorrow in the sale i'm praying for a harvest of tomorrow in the sale What I'm probably going to do, guys, is I'm going to finish the sale of this contract on recording. Then I'm going to get the rest of the money. Now, the money will go up. I'm going to, like, jump cut it to, like, the last one where we've got a total. Um, because otherwise, this episode's going to go on for probably another 10 or 15 minutes. And, yeah, I'm, I'm sure people will be hating how long it is as it is. I personally don't mind how long a video is. I do try to aim for certain times, but... Because of the issues I explained in the last episode, I've got that videos might become a little bit unscheduled at the moment. So if I can put out a, a longer video and you guys, you know, and you know why it is, um, you know, you, yeah, I'd, I'll do my best to try and keep the schedule, but you know, things are, are just happening. And that's we already know we're going to make some good money. Yeah, we got... Uh, do you know something? we got maybe one more trailer load. Let me count how many bales are left once I've got this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's eight bales left and I need to... No, I tell you what, we don't need to do a jump cut. We've only got one more trailer load to settle after this. That's fine. It's going to be like another couple of minutes. So there we go. That's what we've got left to sell. One, two... Three, four, five, six. We've got six bales left to sell. That's it. So we're going to start making profit from these. Yeah, I was hoping to cut my grass in the next episode, but that's not going to happen. I will be harvesting. I, I, I want to harvest. It's been a long time since we've done some harvesting because we didn't really have a good quality harvester. We struggled with them in the past but year three should give us a good harvester about a seven meter header which for a harvester is a good size it is the folding cressoni one um so yeah we are going to use that one so we don't need a header trailer because it just folds up but then that means we can get through gates relatively easy and uh yeah we should be able to just uh harvest away really 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 well right let's get ready for the income i am so excited to see how much money we're about to make on top of this you know on top of the contract so 102 and let's just call it a hundred and two and a half thousand just rough working out I could have jump cut some of the jobs we were doing today. I don't really... I'm not the biggest fan of jump cut. But I think mowing the grass should have been in a time lapse because of how long it took, and I didn't do that. So, like I say, learning from some mistakes. Right, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Mm. Mm. Basically, seven thousand. Basically, seven thousand pound already on top of the contract, and we've still got six bills left to sell that is fantastic i can't get over that is absolutely amazing six more bills left to sell and that is done build one build 107 is done i i let go of my steering wheel then i went to reach for my drink because i'm getting a bit of a soft throat i said i've been talking for like I've been talking for an hour and a half this is more like a live stream jesus it's just been on that long. But like I say, it gets narrowed down when I uh, when I do the time lapses and stuff. There was only two time lapses. This is going to be a huge video. Six bales left. I could go into my farm and get two of those bales. I've got seven. If I put two on the trailer, that would give me a full trip. But like I say, it's 
The silage right now is not the best price. I also want to, I want to try and do a wheat field tomorrow, guys. Or I say tomorrow, in the next episode. It'll be tomorrow's in July. Because I want to keep the excess grain. We are going to bring chickens in, which is going to help us bring in some side income from the eggs. But I don't have a field to make chicken feed. So we will only be we will only be making eggs from doing contracts. So we want to be doing uh, wheat, barley, sorghum. Um, technically, we can do a corn field because I've made it so that the chickens can eat corn. Because in real life, chickens eat corn. I, I say it was one thing I did ask uh, uh, Oxygen David to do was, was to add corn to the chicken feed. He said he would, but he never actually did. I don't know if he's gone. I'm not trying to put any hate out here. I'm just genuinely saying, you know, so I I manually added corn to chicken feed. So if, if we can get some, if we can get like a corn contract, the problem is we don't have a harvester. If you use a normal harvester, it would just be a different header again, wouldn't it? So yeah, well maybe we can do corn as well once we, once we get a harvester. We just need a different header. Six bales. Here we go. Six and a half thousand litres per bale, I think they are, or seven and a half thousand. And six, and whatever the price is, we're just going to go to the same, the same place. And we're going to get this, uh... Oh, we've made seven thousand pounds. Just rough working out again, it was about nine, six thousand nine hundred and something. So we, we have basically seven thousand pounds. Plus the contract, which is £15,000. Again, there's a bit of change in that, but I'm, again, rough working out, which is easier. But yeah, that's, what, £22,000 we're going to make in this episode. And we've still got these six bills left to go. I, I genuinely can't get over how good that was. Look at it now. It's now half past seven in the evening. Ten times for a big contract was... In the summer months, perfect. Absolutely perfect. But we lose half the day in winter. So if in the winter months, if we play on five times, we should be able to do a contract that size. Or we stay on ten times and we do a contract half that size. That would give us the daylight we need. We've been working since 5am. It is now half past seven in the evening. And we are just coming up to So I am just going to lower this time now, guys, because it is pretty much the end of the episode. And I do like to change into the new episode, uh, the new month at the beginning of the episode. And here we go. The £22,000 is roughly what we're going to make. Twenty two. Um, Yeah, 22000 And then... Wow. Tw let's call it 28000 We have made 28000 thousand pound including this including the fee that is absolutely fantastic i hope you guys have enjoyed this super long episode um it, it was a trial run for something i was trying to work out um i now know i need to add more time lapses in to do jobs this big in one episode but as i said i hope you've enjoyed it guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and i'll see you all in the next episode